Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about Superman Lois, Supergirl, the Arrowverse as a whole. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so today we've got quite a few things to talk about. There has been lots of news over the last couple of days. I'm going to get to everything in due course. Also remember, Superman Lois is coming back this week, so on Tuesday night, we are going to be having Superman Lois, and then in a couple of weeks' time, The Flash is going to be finally coming back, and I can't wait to talk about all the new shows and the new episodes with you guys. But for now, we're going to be going over some Superman Lois topics, but first things first, we're going to break down something very interesting that broke last night, and that is that Melissa Benoist is in talks to start in her next project. And so this is obviously her first thing post Supergirl, so I figured we would talk about it and we would break it down and just talk about like the possibility of her returning as Supergirl at any point, because I know a lot of you guys, after seeing this announcement, will be like, hmm, okay, so she's still involved with Belanti and HBO Max and Warner Brothers, so, you know, there is still that connection. So we're going to be talking about that. But anyway, so she's in talks to star in a new HBO Max series called Girls on the Bus from Berlanti Productions. So this is how the Deadline article goes, and I'll leave it in the description below. Coming off six seasons as the lead of Supergirl, Melissa Benoist is poised to reunite with Berlanti Productions on another series. Benoist is in negotiations to headline the Girls on the Bus, which just received a straight-to-series order at HBO Max, I have learned. Benoist also is expected to serve as a producer on the drama series, an adaptation of the best-selling book titled Chasing Hillary from Julie Plek, Chozik, Belanti Productions and Warner Brothers Television. Talks with Benoist for Girls on the Bus have been going on a parallel track with negotiations for the project's move from the CW where it had been in development this season to HBO Max with a series order. I hear Supergirl co-creator slash executive producer Greg Belanti and his team had reached out to Benoist and her interest helped boost the project's prospects, though the series order by HBO Max is not cast contingent. So as I mentioned, this is Melissa's first big thing post Supergirl, so it's definitely of interest and I think a lot of us are going to watch it just purely to see what she does next as fans of Supergirl. And so this is very cool, I like the look of this, and I'm very happy that Melissa's deal with Warner Brothers is actually properly going ahead, and that this series is going straight to series, so that means that it will have one whole season, it doesn't matter about a pilot or anything, because it's going straight to HBO Max, and it's interesting that it was at the CW but moved to HBO Max, it seems like this is a common trend among some in-development shows, because you have to remember if it's Warner Brothers Television working on it, that means that they do have have the right and they can easily move it to HBO Max because that's run by Warner Brothers and it also follows track with Melissa because she was just at the CW and we know that her deal with Warner Brothers which is a producing deal but we know she's going to star in some series and maybe some films that she's going to be producing with Warner Brothers due to her big TV deal so it can be like a TV film or it can be a TV series that she's going to be working on and I'm pretty sure this is part of that, even though she isn't the one who originally came up with this idea to develop this show. And I think that's why she will be credited as a producer, because she's going to be heavily involved and she has that connection to Warner Brothers. And so it's interesting that Belanti is involved in this. So that means that Melissa and Belanti are going to be working together once again. And so here comes the Supergirl talk. So with them working together, they are going to be having very close connections. And with anything in the future in regards to future crossovers, if there is any Supergirl crossovers with like maybe Kyla Lee showing up on the show or Nicole Maines showing up on the show or maybe a potential Supergirl spin-off down the line in the same vein as Justice U with John Diggle, even if it's a couple years down the line like that show was because you know Arrow ended a couple years back, she is heavily connected to Berlanti and obviously Berlanti's big thing is the Arrowverse so the reason I bring it up is she's not wanting to get away from any of that she definitely would be open to coming back if everything is right. She's previously said that, and so with these very close connections, 
I'm pretty sure at some point, maybe in a couple years, she's going to return for a crossover. But again, this is just me theorizing and just talking about what you guys probably want to hear, right? Because she is still working with Volante. She is still with Warner Brothers. She's still with HBO Max, which is linked to the Arrowverse and to the CW. And this show was at the CW. So I think the fact that she's not going to, you know, a completely different network with completely different producing partners means that there is always the chance that Balanti is like, hey, do you want to come back? And she's like, okay, sure, I'll come up for, you know, a couple of days of filming. But I think just overall, it's very exciting to see her move on to her next project because, as you know, shooting these shows is very time consuming and they don't get a lot of time to be in other projects. So it's going to be interesting to see her in another show. And also it seems like she's going to be one of the stars of the show. But with it being at HBO Max, I'm pretty sure the episode count isn't going to be very long. So it's not going to be as grueling as a shoot as Supergirl, which normally was like eight to nine months of shooting all year round in Vancouver. I reckon they could shoot this in LA or something and it being at HBO Max means it's going to be less episodes because they tend to put a lot more money into fewer episodes but then you know they kind of pride themselves on the quality of their content. So it's going to be cool to see her in something like that because we haven't actually seen her in any big projects for quite a while now. So what do you guys think about this? Are you excited? Do you think that this connection with Belanti which is still going on is a good sign for the future. Let me know down in the comments below. Okay, so let's move on to the next few things. So this is in regards to Superman Lois. Want to keep it, you know, Superman family related. So David Ramsey, according to Canada Graphs, which you guys can follow him in the description below. There is his Twitter. Is going to be coming back to direct an episode of Superman Lois as they have him down on the director's list for an upcoming episode. So that means he's probably going to return in the next couple of episodes that they're shooting up in Vancouver. I don't know how many total episodes they have this season, but last season was, you know, not that long, and I presume this season will be about 15 episodes or so. So I don't know what point they're at right now, but he will be there sometime soon. We'll see some set photos when David Ramsey shows up. And as you guys know, David Ramsey is a big deal right now in the Arrowverse since Justice U is coming very, very soon. Well, they're developing it now and he's heavily involved in that. But also he has a big deal at Warner Brothers, similar to Melissa, where he's going to be directing lots of episodes on the different shows. And so that's why he's been in Vancouver so much. And that's why he's showing up in some of these shows as Diggle because he's directing. He's pretty open to showing up as his character because he only shows up for like, I don't know, a couple of scenes. And with Justice You coming, it sets up the story that they're going to do on that show because it seems they are leading up to a big Green Lantern reveal. But it's exciting that he's returning because I'm pretty sure he's directed another episode this season of Superman Lois. And talking of big directors or people from TV shows. There is another Superman Lois synopsis that has been revealed. Elizabeth Henstridge of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. is going to be directing an upcoming episode, which is in fact episode 7 is titled Anti-Hero, and this is how the synopsis goes. Superman pleads with Lieutenant Mitch Anderson to investigate Ali Alston, and Lois receives some very upsetting news. Meanwhile, Lois helps Lana prepare to fight the good fight. Lastly, Jordan is still irritated with Jonathan for lying to him. Okay, so this instantly reveals a big spoiler. So in regards to Jordan and Jonathan, this reveals that Jordan finds out about Jonathan taking X Kryptonite and what has been happening in the last couple of episodes. We knew this was gonna happen at some point, but it's just weird that they would reveal this in a synopsis. So yeah, big spoilers there. But in regards to everything else here, it's interesting that Superman is pleading to Anderson to investigate Ali because obviously Ali is affecting everyone and if it turns out to be true and she becomes her comic book counterpart, she could become Parasite. I've seen other theories going around about who Ali could actually be. Is she going to turn out to be some sort of supervillain? I think there's always the opportunity for her to become someone like Parasite. But at the same time, maybe it's even more scary if she's just a human and she affects people so much that Superman is willing to plead to Anderson to investigate Ali and try and put a stop to what she is doing. 
And so, in regards to Lois, she received some very upsetting news. I don't really have any ideas what that could be off the top of my head. Also, at the same time, Lois is going to be helping Lana with her mayoral campaign, it seems. So, that's pretty much it for that episode. That's kind of my analysis. But they also released another synopsis for the episode before. So, let's just quickly go over that because I didn't make a video on that. So, it's titled Tried and True. It's episode 6. It's going to be coming out on the 1st of March. So... Amy Jo Johnson from Felicity directs, Lois tells Clark that she and Chrissy plan to do a deeper dive into the inverse society and Lana and Sarah try to comfort each other after the fallout at Sarah's Quincenera. Meanwhile, Jordan notices something suspicious in Jonathan's book bag. Lastly, Lieutenant Mitch Anderson finds himself under fire for the deterioration of the Department of Defense, his relationship with Superman. So in regards to Lois, she tells Clark that she and Chrissy plan to do a deeper dive into the Inverse Society, and so it seems, according to the next synopsis, that doesn't go very well because Clark is still looking into her, into Ali and the Inverse Society. However, maybe it does actually work and that's why Clark asks Lieutenant Mitch Anderson to help out. Because maybe they find out something even greater that makes it a big threat that an organization like the DOD would have to step in. And there is a big fallout at Sarah's 16th birthday party. I don't know what's going to go down there but they made a big deal out of it in the last couple of episodes, so we'll just have to wait and see in regards to that. And then Jonathan is caught by Jordan, who finds something suspicious in his book bag, which again is revealed in the next synopsis that he knows that he lied to him about the X kryptonite. And the last thing, which is actually very intriguing, is that Anderson finds himself under fire for them not having a good relationship to Superman anymore, because whoever is in charge of the DOD, like even above him, is going to be completely annoyed at him because he's put his own standards above America and obviously America, it's been made pretty clear, needs Superman or at least a good relationship to Superman. So as of right now, that doesn't put him in a very good place. So we'll have to wait and see what exactly goes down with him. But that pretty much does it in regards to this video. Hopefully you guys are looking forward to Superman Lois coming back this week. I am very, very excited. I think it's episode 5. It's coming Tuesday night at a normal time. And then, like I said before, a couple of weeks later, we will be having the return of The Flash. And Superman Lois will stay in The Flash's time slot, which has been uh, since The Flash went off air and since Superman Lois Season 2 started airing. And The Flash is going to be going to a Wednesday night and it's going to be sticking there at least for the rest of this season. But it's also very exciting with Melissa's new project and seeing that she's still with Belanti and Warner Brothers Television and, and the TV shows move to HBO Max. So tell me what do you think about all of this in the comments down below. But for now, if you did enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. It really helps out if you do subscribe and turn on notifications to not miss any future videos and you can click on the top right corner of the screen to watch my latest video but for now thank you guys so much for watching and i'll catch you guys later goodbye